Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here, and welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here in the channel. I like to stop and take the time to rank all of the golden weapons ranked from the worst to the best. Please know that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion, and you are free to comment down below your ranking of all the golden weapons ranked from the worst to the best, just like me, or you could just do your favorite. Like, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, Let's get into our ranking. Kicking off my list at number four, we have the Nunchucks of Lightning. Now, the Nunchucks of Lightning are a cool kind of weapon. I think that at giving Jay the Nunchucks of Lightning, yeah, I'll, I'll dig it. But the main problem with it is that he barely uses it. Most of the time when he wants to shock someone, he usually just shocks himself in the process. And then when he does shock someone, it's just a little, you know, electricity shock. It's nothing too lethal. And I guess they really can't show the full effects of it because this is a children's show. But I do think that Jay's nunchucks of lightning do deserve a little bit more power than it actually has. But I do think that the weapons themselves, I think that, yeah, they're a cool weapon. You could kill somebody with it, but usually all Jay does with it is just hit someone with it or lightly shock them, and it doesn't have that cool effect as it should. Kick it on my top three list has got to go to the Sword of Fire. Now, this and another weapon on this list are the most ninja-like weapons on this list, mainly because, yes, ninja and samurai, they do use swords. They do use katanas. I just think that Kai really kind of doesn't use the Sword of Fire to the fullest ability. Yeah, he kind of lights it on fire a little bit. He throws a couple of fireballs, but that's my main problem with it is that you really don't have that much things that you can do with the sword of fire i mean all he does is just slash things cut things or even just kind of defend himself against enemies but he really just kind of doesn't use the sword of fire as much as i like him to i think the best thing that the sword of fire has to offer is that it can shoot fire we barely see him shoot fire out of the sword of fire the sword of fire just has that type of problem and that it just is not living up to the fullest ability that it can operate at. My runner up at number two has got to go to the Scythe of Quakes. Now I do think that the Scythe of Quakes is kind of a weird weapon for a ninja to have. I mean why would he have like a big scythe carrying it on his back and everything like that. It's kind of weird but for Cole no it's not weird. For Cole this is yeah this a staff or something like that this is the perfect weapon for him this is exactly the weapon that i love seeing cold with and i think it works perfectly for his character and he uses it perfectly well i mean unlike the sword of fire and the nunchucks of lightning cole can do a lot of things with this he can block he can defend he can do offense he can slash he can cut things he can basically tear the side the quakes into the ground and make earthquakes with it there's a lot of things that you can do with the side the quakes that you really wouldn't think that you can do and cole uses it to the best ability that he can before i get into my number one i'd like to take the time to say that if you are a fan of ninjago which you probably are that's why you're watching this video click that playlist up above for everything ninjago related that i have on my channel also if you are a fan of the mcu i am doing an mcu rewatch on my podcast it's called the regular podcast and that link is always in the description and in the comment section and we will be uploading avengers in game part one on monday without further ado let's get into my number one but coming in at my number one has got to go to the shurikens of ice originally this was going to be the lowest thing on my list mainly because we don't really see the shurikens of ice as much because they just disappear out of nowhere but that's the one thing that's positive about it zane is a stealthy character so when we see the shurikens of ice just disappear, that shows that similarity that we have with Kai or Cole with their weapon. We see that with Zane's respective weapon that these can just disappear out of nowhere and it's just like Zane. Zane is a very stealthy character so he can disappear out of nowhere and it makes perfect sense why he will have the shurikens of ice. I also love the fact that he can just throw them, he can cut through things, he can hold people up against the wall. The shurikens of ice are the only weapons that can utilize other elements such as water. As you can tell these are the most ninja like weapons on this list. Because, yeah, ninjas use swords, they use katanas, they use smoke bombs, but most importantly, they use shurikens. And I think that giving Zane a stealthy character, the most stealthy character on the team, shurikens that can just disappear out of nowhere, that when you throw them, they command ice, that they can utilize a different element, that they just are a powerhouse of ability but also being just these teeny tiny little things it's one of those weapons that are very lethal but are also very common 
So Zane uses it perfectly well. It has so many abilities. It's just the most ninja-like weapon on this list. So it has to come in at number one. All right, guys, that was it for the ranking. Please know that everything that I did say in this video was just my very own opinion. My list was certainly not the right list. It is just my list, and you are free to comment down below your list. Also, sorry I did not upload this video yesterday on Saturday, which Ninjago videos are supposed to come out on Saturdays. It's been a crazy week, but like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.